Hi there and welcome. Well, today I was planning on using several of the new and really innovative Lawn Fawn products. Well, I got about halfway through the video and my daughter wasn't feeling good, so she stayed home from school and I chose to snuggle up with her instead. So I got some of the projects done, but wanted to share them with you along with plans for some other projects in case they inspire you. These products are so much fun and very innovative. First, I want to show you how to use the new Lawn Fawn Pivot pop-up dies. Watch how this works. When you open up the card, this huge area pops up. It's a complete surprise because you can't tell when it is closed. This is so much fun to do, and I thought I would show you how to create one and give you some ideas for some others. This is the new Lawn Fawn Pivot pop-up die set. There really aren't that many pieces to it. To make the pop-up happen, you need these two dies on the right, but they come with the other dies on the left, which can be used to decorate or create a scene along the pop-up piece. You need to create three die cuts to do the pop-up, two of these tabbed rectangles, and one of that funky looking shape that I think looks kind of like a muscle man with his arms out and his fists out. I don't know, that's what it looks like to me. Now you'll notice there are score lines and tick marks that the die creates on the die cut. Those are very helpful in assembling and I'll explain them all. First thing you need to do is fold right along that center line. So I'm just folding it over along that score line and reinforcing it with my bone folder. Next, I will unfold it and set it on my table so it looks kind of like a mountain. So the point is sticking up, the crease line sticking up. Now I will fold across those two diagonal lines, folding towards me. So I'm actually folding in the opposite direction than the first fold that I created. I will also fold towards me along the other diagonal line and reinforce that. Next, I'm going to bring those two arms together till they touch in the middle. So I'm just pulling them towards the center. You'll see how they kind of go into the center and touch. And once you have them in the center touching, you're going to just fold it all down and look at what you end up with. You end up with like an arrow shape. It's kind of a funky looking shape, but this is what makes the pop-up happen. And it works really well, very easy to put together. Okay, so now I have to adhere this to the inside of a card. I have a top folding four and a quarter by five and a half inch note card. You could do side folding, you could do whatever you want. Here I'm putting super strong double sided tape on the two triangles that are formed by this. So you can see I have adhesive on both sides. Now I can unfold this and we can add this into our card. Now you see that little hold in, hole in the center? That's like a peak hole. You're going to peek through that to see where the crease line is on your card to make sure you have it right along that crease line. So I'm removing the tape from one of the triangles. I'll peek through that hole and make sure that I can see my little crease line, my fold line, making sure it's centered on the sides, and then I will press that down. So when you look through that hole, you should see the fold line of your card. So I'll press that down. Now I'm going to remove the release paper from the other triangle. Once I have that all removed, I can just close the card onto it and our mechanism is added to the card. It looks a little funny right now, but as soon as we add the banner to it, it'll look fantastic and pop up nicely. Now these two elements come together to create a little banner. There are score lines on it and on both of them, you want to fold them close. They look like little mini file folders at this point. Next, you want to fold along the little tabs here, fold in the opposite direction, and do the same on the other one. Next, I'm putting strong double-sided tape on those little tabs, just the little tabs that stick out, and remove the release paper, and then we'll hook these together. So you end up with like a little accordion banner. You could cut your own banner to do this, but the dies are included and it makes it very easy. So here, we'll hook them together, and press them down when I have them lined up. And there we have our little accordion banner. This is what will pop up and you can decorate this with a scene, with words, whatever you want to put on there. And I have a few ideas I'll share today. To decorate my card, I die cut a bunch of balloons from an older Lawn Fawn die set. This is the party balloon set. And I used a bunch of different scrap pieces of cardstock. I adhered a bunch of balloons onto the front of my card and even use the little string dies that are included in the set to create the strings on the balloons. After I adhered the balloons to the front, I trimmed anything off that was hanging off the edge, 
and then I used my aqua shimmer pen to add shimmer to the balloons. Now I really wanted a large sentiment to put on that banner that pops up when we open the card. I decided to use some alphabet dies to do this. I used an older Lawn Fawn die set. This is the Coles alphabet. I have some black cardstock here that I've put double-sided tape on the back of. So it has adhesive on the back already. So basically I'm creating little letter stickers. Ran that through my die cut machine with those dies. And now I need to cut a few more letters because I want to spell hooray hooray. Now I can peel each of the letters off and add them on to that little banner that we created. I try not to add anything on the fold lines so that it opens nicely, but you can see it spaces out just fine. Next, I want to add a sentiment onto this, a little sentiment to go underneath it. This is the Lawn Fawn Simply Sentiments stamp set. This is another new stamp set, and I like how the letters are spaced out. There are lots of sentiments on here, perfect for sentiment strips on cards. I like that it includes feel better and sending hugs. I decided to use so happy for you. So I'm placing this in my Misty simply because I didn't want to mess up at this point and I'm stamping it with black ink right along the bottom of the banner. Now it's time to add the banner to the pop-up mechanism. To do this, you just need to put some strong double-sided tape on his fists, those little tabs that little stick out the sides there. I do recommend a very strong adhesive because you want to make sure that this all stays together nicely. Once I remove the release paper, I can add my little banner here. Now remember I mentioned that there are little tick marks that the die makes. I'm pointing to it here with my little um, piercer, I guess this is. There's little tick marks in the center of those triangles. I'm lining up that crease line in the center of my banner with those tick lines to make sure this is centered. Once I'm sure it is centered, I can press that down onto those little adhesive fists and then we're ready to go. Now I will say the first few times you open and close this, it's not gonna work great. It's gonna get kind of caught. But what you need to do is open and close it a few times. It just needs a little attention before it starts to work well. I kind of press it around and um, wiggle the card a bit. And before you know it, it'll pop open and closed beautifully. So do that about 10 times and then watch this. You'll see it just opens and closes nicely and it's ready to go. So I decided to decorate the inside just like I did the outside, but I did leave room on the bottom to add a little personal sentiment. I really like how this pops open. You could do like a stamped scene along that banner, but I thought it was really fun to just add that bold sentiment. On the front, I stamped Just Sane from that same Simple Sentiment stamp set that the So Happy For You is from. Now you'll see there is a little bulk to this card because I added so many die cuts. You could keep it thinner by just doing stamping instead, but really it's not that bad. I'm really excited to make more of these cards. I just think they're so fun and unexpected. Next, I planned to make another pivot pop-up card using this new Lawn Fawn Beam Me Up stamp set. This stamp set is so much fun and there are great playful sentiments such as have an out of this world birthday, take me to your cake, beam up some fun. Well, I thought I'd tell you what I had planned to do even though I wasn't able to do it because Lila got sick. I did get to stamp, color, and cut out some of the images and I started to create the card. I decided I was going to do a side folding card but design it so the banner pop-up would end up vertical instead of horizontal. I was going to put a few aliens on the front with a the sentiment, then have the pop-up mechanism there. When you open it up, you would end up with the banner going up and down. And on that banner, I was going to have the little spaceship with the little beam me up, uh, beam up some fun or take me to your cake sentiment below that. So I'm sorry I wasn't able to create this card, but I did want to share the idea with you to show you there are many ways to use the pivot pop-up dies. Okay, here is another card and I almost got this one finished, but I thought I would share with you what I created. This uses some other new Lawn Fawn products that are gorgeous. This is the Lawn Fawn Quilted Backdrop Die. This cuts a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece with all of that detail to it. I think that is so beautiful. By simply creating a background with this, you don't have to add much else to the card. 
I also used the new Lawn Fawn Rub-A-Dub-Dub stamp set. This has some adorable little ducks and little bath images. I use the bath images on this card, but I do want to make one with the little ducks where I can stamp, I'm a lucky duck to have a friend like you. Here is the card I created with these two products, very simple to create. I die cut the backdrop and I trimmed a little bit off the sides so my note card would show through. I also die cut all of those little images and colored them and just adhered them with foam tape to the front. Now I wanted to show you another idea for using that pivot pop-up die and it's something you could add to the inside of that relax and enjoy card. So I'm just going to demonstrate on this other pivot pop-up that I created. You can take a gift card and just temporarily adhere it to this part of the banner on the right or actually any part and it will close and stay inside of the card there. It doesn't, it still fits inside of the card when it closes up. And when you open up the card, it does pop up with it. So it's really cool. That's another thing you can do is use the pivot pop-up to hold a gift card on it. Such a fun way to kind of uh, present your gift card to someone. So I was going to do a spa gift card and put that inside of that relax and enjoy card. Next, I wanted to briefly show you this cute little bookmark that I made for Lila while she was napping. Now this one, I used the new Lawn Fawn Slow Down and Enjoy stamp set. It has these cute little elephant and sloth images and you have the front and the back. So you can kind of have it hanging over an element on a card or you can get the coordinating dies and make a little bookmark. The bookmark dies are sized just right to have the back of the elephant on one side and the front on the other side. And you can stamp the little images around that. This one I stamped, I'll never forget your spot. And I can write Lila's name on the other side. Now I will not put adhesive on his little arms on the front. That way she can tuck the page that she's on underneath the arms so it holds a spot. So all you have to do is glue the back onto the back of the bookmark, then glue the head here onto the front, and you'll have a little spot to tuck your little page on your book right under his arm. So pretend this is a page in a book, and you can just slide it right over that. So this one was really fun to make, and I just added rickrack to the top. I'll probably make a few more of these, but then you can also use these elements, as I mentioned, on a card. Before we go, I wanted to mention a few more products that Lawn Fawn came out with at the Creativation Craft Show that I was really excited about, so I wanted to share here. One thing they came out with is the Lawn Fawn Glow in the Dark Embossing Powder. Now when you heat emboss this powder, it's almost white. It has a little yellow tint to it, but not much. But it actually does glow in the dark, which is really fun. Then they have these two small stamp, stamp sets, the little fireflies and the lights on stamp set. So you can make the little firefly glow or the light bulb glow. And there are sentiments that mention I glow in the dark so people will know to check it out. I was going to use the glow in the dark embossing powder on that alien card that I was showing you earlier. And I like how these all can be used together. Okay, so there you have it, part of a video. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to create all the ideas, but I wanted to share them anyways. I hope this was helpful to you. In the uh, description below, you can find these different products. In the middle are a couple other videos you might like. I appreciate you spending time with me. I hope you have a good day, and I'm off to snuggle with Lila. Take care.